let me let me show you like it would look like this. It would look a lot like this. Um, but this one is too chubby. I like that one even when it was already broken. It was something like this. You know, it was it was like this. So you see like what is like ten by five? You cannot miss this. And that was like mostly like red. It got like reds. That was Michelle Obama, but uh it was only you see this it was a lot more narrow than this. This one this one have like doubles. That one only had one single. So I like the skinny one so it don't take space. And I like them this size because you know then I can find them easily. So I knew. I mean like I got in the elevator to go down and pay, you know, because I, I found I bought I bought this I've been looking for a, a pepper mill, you know. Uh, to have like fresh pepper, you know, so they had one really good price and um, And I was gonna get it. I was like, oh, let me see I have to I have to see you know, like You know I want to see how much money I had left. I Don't know. I don't know why you know, I, I just knew I knew exactly how much money I should have left right, but But that's how I, I visualize That's how I visualize the I'm a little bit too, too close on this one <clears throat> I'm very visual, so I have to visualize my money, you know. I mean, like, I have to see it, and I open my bag, you know. I mean, let me show you the bag, you know, which it was zipped up. It was zipped up always, you know, except when I went to look at this. And I wasn't sure if it was a pepper mill because it did not say it. It did not say it was a pepper mill, so it's like, I was, you know, is this permanent? Is this disposable because it was full already. It was like a glass and full with peppercorns. So I was in my shopping cart and uh, you know I couldn't read. I so I had to pull out my my um eyeglasses, well because I have my sunglasses on. <laughs> you know, my designer sunglasses that I got there at that Marshalls. At that Marshalls, I got it right there. I always go to that Marshalls because <clears throat> a lot of times I'm just coming from Costco's <clears throat> and I go upstairs. <clears throat> Sorry, I was having um, CMOS. I was having a little CMOS, so <clears throat> one of these little things went in my throat. So, <clears throat> oh my God, let me get some water. <clears throat> Oh gosh, I hate this thing when it happened, but. So I knew that was where exactly where it happened. You know, I just knew it. I just knew that that's where, where it had happened. You know, there's no. <coughs> oh God. Wow, there's a long delay. I just refreshed the page. I'm still in the kitchen. You see the censorship? <clears throat> they want to make sure they, they can... Um... What is it? Okay, it's time. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought it was going to be like... Because I updated one of the apps. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that little piece of sea moss is effing me up. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> I don't know which way it went, but I can tell you, like, I feel it, like, right here. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, so I was upstairs. I was on the second floor. Um, and um, I have a shopping cart. So, I I'm doing this for myself, too, you know, if, in case come, like, whatever. I'm hoping that they will find my wallet even without the money, you know. I'm like... <clears throat> You know, I wanted to I wanted to go upstairs and I was like you know, it was just it was just very, very frustrating because I did not see for one second. 
I did not see for one second any, not even a half an ounce of sympathy. You know, much less empathy, you know, as, 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 a, as a customer, as a consumer, you know. You just see like, oh, oh man, it's like, we're so sorry about that. It's just like, you know, uh, <clears throat> You know, she said, she said, it's like, I spoke to the supervisor, I requested to speak to the store supervisor, so it's like, I knew, she never introduced herself, you know, you know, feminism is just like, you know, I'm too high and mighty to introduce myself, this is my name, whatever, you know, and, uh, and uh, all she said is like, well, you just uh, call the police, file a report, that's what she said, and she disappeared. So I stood there for like a minute or two and people kept asking me, you know, are you okay? Yeah, I think, you know, and then she passed by, you know, you think they're coming soon? It's like, oh no, you have to call them. I said, I don't have a cell phone. So she disappeared again and she said, okay, you know, come to register number 10 and see if the court, you know, why do I need to call? She's the store manager. This is the problem I have with feminism, that you put these women that have zero initiative, zero, they are not problem solvers. They are always like, you know, oh, wash my hands off, wash my hands off, and that's it. You know, nothing. So it's like, okay, I thought she was gonna say, well, I am the store supervisor, Marshalls, a little bit professional. And uh, we have a client here, she said that somebody uh, could grab her wallet from her handbag, uh, you know, as I was looking at this, uh, you know, it was like some bottle I was just looking at, you know, like the, the peppercorn. <clears throat> and uh, nothing, nothing, zero, zero. They take your money and they're like, you know, you get a, a kick in the butt and that's about it. And that's about it. That's customer service in New York City. And this is not the only Marshalls. I gotta say, this is not the only Marshalls. I go to the one on sometimes on Third Avenue in the Bronx. Um, what other one that is like? Because the the ones that are more downtown, they might be. I don't know. I never really. I really don't go downtown. So <sighs> that's why a lot of people they don't go to the stores, you know, uptown. You know, I know, I know people who say like, I don't go to that one. I go to, I gotta go to, you know, whatever, Chelsea or whatever, you know. It should not be. It should be like, you know, I'm gonna send this video to Marshalls. So they know, because I know corporations, they always, they always looking for your feedback. They always get the receipt. It's like, you know, fill out the survey, fill out the survey. So the one time that they couldn't listen to me not to file a report, you know, like like I say, you know, it's like, wow, it's just, it's just uh, um, <clears throat> I'm sure, like, I'm going to be blamed for this, you know. I mean, there was a lot of people in the aisle. It was where the, the seasonings, you know, the condiments, whatever. Um, there's an aisle, like, in the middle of the store, in the second floor, almost like the middle. And so they had, you know, they sell, you know, anything from pasta, you know, organic pasta and all, all these stuff. So I wasn't even going to go. I like, I just looked it up and like, oh, let me see the price. You know, because also I don't want to pay a huge price, especially Marshall's is, it's like a lot. You, they buy, you buy from whatever, you know, people didn't sell, what the people didn't buy in other stores, right? That's, that's, that's the way it is. So, <clears throat> so I'm like, um, you, you know, but, but still you, you, you just expect just like, you know, just a tiny little bitty bit of, uh, empathy, sympathy, you know, something, something, you know, um, but nothing. You know, I got nothing, you know, just, just, uh, that was it. The store manager never, she never sent nobody, you know, tell her she want a chair. You know, I waited like five minutes for the NYPD to show up. They kept bombarding me, what time, what time this, what time that. And I was like, okay, this is like, I felt like they was doing that to, 
to get me to, um, I don't know, uh, contradict myself or something. I don't know why they keep doing that. I say like, well, you're going to look at the video, right? They keep saying, we look at the video and we're like, whatever. But it was like, always like, very skeptical when the NYPD arrived, there was two uh, NYPD officers and, uh, <clears throat> and he was very skeptical. She was, she was nice actually. She was nice. She took my, my, you know, she told, you know, write this over there. You know, this is to you to write, you know, how many items you remember that was there. I'm like, I don't know. It's just like over time you remember like, oh shit, that was in that wallet. That shit was in that wallet, you know, like that stuff and it's gone. Uh, but it's like, how can you miss something this size? I want to, I want to, I want to know like in this store. I mean, like, he was good. Like I say, he was good. He sensed it that I had some money. I mean, like, that's why we're there. I don't, you know, I mean, sometimes I do go just, just to window shop, whatever, to see if they got anything, you know. As a matter of fact, I was there two days ago. That's where I got, um, you know, this, my baby's um, uh, little house. Yeah, it was less than $20. It was less than $20. I mean, like, Instagram, if you want to see it, this thing was so heavy. I was like, oh my God. And it is very heavy. I wanted to Instagram to show it. I took the price out. Less than $20. You know, you get good deals. I'm not gonna deny that you get good deals. So I know now, you know, when she's in her days or anything, you know, she wants to, to hide and then she, they can scratch, um, they can scratch over there, I mean like, and as a matter of fact, I saw they got new ones, but that was like more than thirty dollars. The new ones that they got, that was good too. That was like a little house, you know, whatever. And I feel like, <clears throat> you know, she can, she can just stay there because she used to stay in a in a cardboard box. She used to stay in a cardboard box. That's what she used to, to to stay in. A, and now she can stay there. anyway. So I'm like, I'm trying to. I mean, everything happened like seem like it happened so fast you know but i i want to say that i got nothing from marshall's i got nothing from marshall's and from the nypd what i got was like um you know it's just like well you saw you got mugged you got this you got no no like i told you i got my glasses <clears throat> i'm gonna say this every time they ask me because that's what happened i got my glasses Unfortunately, I turn around, um, you know, and something, and somebody just must have gone in there because this size, you don't drop it. I mean, like, it's all the noise that it make. Um, you see, I I don't wear headphones. I don't like they're gonna say you wear headphones. They're like, no, I trace my steps. I came from over there by, you know, uh, Nana, over there on, on, on March 125. That's, that's who, who did my, my necklace, you know, I recommend. I recommend you to go to Nana. He got all the crystals over there. So, <clears throat> so I came from there and I say, okay, let me cross the, the street to, to, to go to Marshall's. And, um, you know, you know, like just to see what they got, because, you know, I had a little money. So sometimes, you know, like if there's a good deal, you can get it. Right. So I wasn't upstairs that long. I found I found a bottle for a bottle for the water. I say, oh, that was cute because the top was very, very small and the bottle was white. It was a beautiful bottle, you know, just uh, it was five bucks. And uh, <clears throat> so I say, oh, you could bring that to my bedroom and just, just to be, or put, like, whatever, without, like, spilling so much because it was very wide at the bottom and with just a little. I, I had that. I had the peppercorn. And there was another item. I forgot. So I told the store manager, she said, oh, you want me to save it for you? I so said, like, for what? I mean, I, I don't have my, not even my ATM card was there, you know. Um, <clears throat> after that, I went to the city bank and canceled it. 
you know, that's okay. I should get a new one. I have to go now to the website, the DMV, so they can send me a new one. Um, you know, my benefit card, shit, my benefit card, you know, like all that. I had a gift card from my, my, my health insurance. They give you incentives. You know, I think I had like $90 in there. Hopefully they didn't charge it because I think that's easy to charge. So I gotta, I gotta call them up and say, and, and, you know, I don't have the number to, to, to report the card. So, you know, it's just, it's just sad. And you expect more, you know, from, from this place that you always go there. You always go there to shop. You always go there to shop. And like, a, look at this one. Everywhere you go, you have you have all these politicians. <clears throat> you know, they come out of nowhere. You never see them around my neighborhood. I mean, this is just on my neighborhood. You know, him. I know him on 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 my Facebook. You know, he's a friend on my Facebook. I hope he's gonna be good because he Danis Rodriguez. You know, just messed up the whole neighborhood. You know, a lot of a lot of new <clears throat> new buildings pushing for rezoning, pushing for you know sky rises, pushing a lot. You know, so so I'm really hoping that that <clears throat> you know there is a program for for these corporations to be a little bit more sensitive. You know, I don't want them like oh my gosh, just like you know oh and 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 i asked the i asked the the officers i asked the officer i said like is there the store got any liability and he immediately say oh no 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 i said like i say i say why not don't they have third party insurance you know i got robbed uh, you, you know uh, you know everywhere <clears throat> you know you they you have to have third party insurance something happened to you i filed a report i told him what i got and everything so oh nothing nothing if you fall in there you trip in there I mean like if you must have I guess a very good lawyer I don't have a lawyer if anybody got a lawyer to recommend to me I mean like that, that'll be great because I mean I can be just not even oh sorry for this experience you know like you know I mean I know it's Harlem I know it's Harlem, it's very populous, there's a lot of people in and out, and the economy is really bad. I guess that's that's something they don't want to be like, you know, people are desperate, people are like, you know, I don't curse him out. You know, whoever took the wallet probably needed for his children. I don't know what he needed the money for. You know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I walked all the way around, so hopefully he will drop it somewhere, you know, uh, the wallet. And uh, no, I mean, like, I gotta. What happened, sweetie? ¿Qué pasó, Maxil? ¿Qué quiere? Oh, my baby. She's gonna be, I think, in July. She's from July or June, they told me. She's gonna be one year. So she's a baby. And then, Ocelote. The male cat don't. He get overwhelmed sometimes, and he don't want to be around her too. And she like follow him around. <laughs> I don't know, but I just wanted you to to know, like you know, this feel really, really awful. You know, you you lose stuff. And probably if it was in a bodega, over here by my house, probably they would say like, oh, you know, like sorry that happened to you. Never, no customer service, no customer service, nobody like, you know, <clears throat> oh, you know, I don't know what is the protocol over there on Marshalls, you know, when, when somebody get robbed. I mean, it could have been like something very important. It could have been like, you know, you, you know, I say, we, you, you know, I was thinking when I was in the train, you know, she could have sent, you know, there was so much staff. I saw at least 20 employees at that store upstairs uh you know you know not besides the registers you know um i saw like 20 it was a lot you know because i always go like to the clearance section all the way in the back you see like you know because i don't play lotto i don't you know do any of those games like that but i do like to go sometimes like oh shit i got a really great bargain you know actually let me show you what i got for three bucks 
That was uh, like two weeks ago. Can you believe this thing? It was three dollars. It was three dollars. This is like one of my, I always wanted to have like a black clay um, china where, you know, serving, you know, from Oaxaca, you know, in Oaxaca, you know, Mexican, they make, this is not uh, clay, I don't think so, I don't know. I think they just dyed it or something, I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. And it was only three dollars. It's a little bit cheap. This is like a little bit cheap in there, but I can put, I'm gonna put some marker on it. So that's what I, that's what I do over there, you know, that's where, that's what I go for. I go for those little things. So <clears throat> I went over there and there was like four people. There was rearranging, I guess they was told, you know, rearrange the clearance section. So I couldn't, I couldn't get to that. So I came, you know, the other side. And it was like, it was too much traffic. It was too much, I guess there's new merchandise coming out because there was a lot of people, um, you know, ordering the shelves and stuff, you know. They could have helped me out, right? Oh, let's see if you find the wallet. She might drop it. I don't see how you drop it. Well, like I say, got the zipper on. Got the zipper. The only time I, I did, you know, I, w I was thinking that it was somebody asked me for, 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 for change in the street. I thought that maybe that was what, but no, and then I remember that was when I got off the train on St. Nicholas. I got off on the train on San, San Nicholas, and then, you know, there's always there, you know, by the Popeye, there's a lot of people, you know, can you help me, you know, buy a meal or slice and stuff, and I'm just like, you know, I took my, 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 um, it was not my wallet, I took out because I had a, a pouch with, uh, with, uh, some coins, and, I gave him some coins. I'm sorry, now I'm, I'm crashing. Now I'm crashing. So, I never opened. I paid, I put it back. I remember I paid Nana. I gave him his money for the quartz. Zip it up, cross the street. I did not even take, because I know that store like a pound my hand. I always go there. So I know where stuff's gonna be at. They don't have no flowers. They had some like you know know what I like you know like I like flowers as you can see <laughs> I have flowers everywhere sometimes I got a good deal on flowers um, it's just it's just like as New Yorkers we deserve better every time I talk people who come from other states they say just like wow this is the worst customer service in New York City and people go to the same restaurants, people go to the same stores all over the country. New York City wasn't like that. It used to be mom and pops and stuff. It was very exclusive, so to speak. Businesses, because it was like, you know, families who owned these little stores downtown, everywhere. So it was an adventure to shop in New York City. Now you can go to the same stores and they say like, always the worst are in New York City. I understand the rent is a lot more expensive, I understand that, but uh, I will, you know, ask you to, to train everybody, to train all your staff, you know, I mean like, I think they should get tested, I know that, that, that you probably just tell them like, oh, watch all these videos, but do they get tested, do they get put in practice, you know, something happened in the store, like, you know, I mean, stuff like that, it's not, it's not that hard. I, I don't think it's that costly. I don't think it's that costly to, to just to be a little bit more courteous. I mean, it's great that they're, you know, cleaning the shopping carts before we use them. <clears throat> you know, all those precautions are great, but I just felt like, you know, I felt she was disgusted by talking to me. And I had my face covered, I had my sunglasses I just show you. I had the face mask, but I guess she heard my voice or something. I don't know what she got triggered, you know, maybe being transsexual. I don't know why she was like, very like, ugh. she was very ugh. like, she, she looked annoyed that I approached her, you know, but I wanted to talk to the store manager. So I feel like the store manager at least, at least, you know, like, oh, the other thing is like, you know, Every time I shop something, you know, like a, like a, some 
like a face cream that I don't know. I always ask, you know, the, all the people working there and the cashier, what's the return policy? Oh, no, 30 days, 30 days. So you bring it, you know, to Harlem, you bring it to the Bronx locations, and they say, oh, it's open, we cannot take it. What do you mean it's open, you cannot take it? And like, I know that's the whole point. How am I going to return it if I never opened it? You know, I bought this this moisturizer. It said all these things in the box. So I opened it and I put it, you know, I got home, I opened it, I put it in my hand. That thing felt so heavy. And I was like, I put it back on and I, and I, I said, it's like, that's not for me. I like something that disappeared once I put it on my face, right? And, and I had to go downtown that time to return it. It's like, why? Why is it that, that, that you know, our neighborhoods get such a lousy service? You know, not to mention, I mean, now they have an excuse, but, you know, a year ago, two years ago, Starbucks, you know, they say always the bathrooms are broken. They had to close one of their locations and that's the only Starbucks that they don't have a restroom. So it's like, this is racism. This is discrimination. I mean, you go there, you know, I'm uptown. You know, as far as I go, it's just maybe 116. I go 116 to, you know, that's it. That's as far as I go. I don't, I don't like to go any other place in Manhattan because I just feel even more out of, out of space. You know, I mean, like. I don't like that, so I tweeted at them. That's why I make this video. I tweeted at Marshalls. There's no reply. It's not like you know, hey, you know, you want to inbox us your telephone number. We want to know more about your experience. We want to call you. Call me in my house. You know, they don't want to talk to me. Like, uh, and uh, you know, I left with this bitter taste. It's like. They said in YPD, oh, they look at the video, we are, we didn't see, we didn't see. First they came and they said, we cannot find you. We say, what time? Come on, I know, this just happened. They couldn't find me. I said, you find me on the elevator. I said, look at the elevator. You find me out the elevator, look at the time in the elevator. So it was like, what, three minutes before I arrived in the elevator? And it's like, oh yeah, we saw you. You was taking everything out of your bag. Of course I was. They took everything from me. You know, I was like, it just happened in an instant. That's how it's happening. We're going back to the 70s and 80s where people are starving and you got to, got to, you always got to walk around with a newspaper or something and have to walk with your handbag like this. People are starving. The economy is really bad. But you know, I mean, that's all that besides the point. I'm making this video just for customer service. You know, I like to feel sometimes like a human being. Is that too much to ask? You see another human being in disgrace <clears throat> and nothing, nothing, ice, ice. There should be a protocol for every department store. Something happened to you. Just a little bit of empathy, come on. You know, I know they're all terrified. I'm gonna sue them, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And just, just like, I guess there's a lot of people who do that. You know, I don't have a lawyer like that. I don't, I don't know nobody like that. I don't know. I mean, like, hopefully right now with this video, somebody, you know. But if I was going to sue, I will sue probably just for an apology. Come on. Come on. You lose all your money, you know. Like, I told you, I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> like, shoot, the next two weeks going to be probably dry because my money don't come until, um, uh, actually, just, just came out my money. <laughs> You know, it's the 15, so I got I got it on Friday because it, 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 it come out on the 14, and I already don't have any money. I went to Costco on Friday and I bought a bunch of stuff and put it in the freezer. So this was my my extra money I had. You know, one of those things is like, oh gosh, if I had only stopped at the city bank and deposited all the money, and I said like, oh, okay, you know, whatever, you know. On my way back, you know, the other side of the street, I'll stop by the city bank and deposit, you know, because that's what I have to do. So I have to think before I make a purchase, I gotta go to the ATM and do I really want it? So yeah, that was gonna be 
I guess it was going to be, I had Tali like it was going to be like $20. You know? I mean, shit happens, I know, but, you know, I mean, why we have to live in a world where everybody's so cold? You know, everybody like, you know, oh, you know, sorry that, 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 that you lost your money. Sorry that you lost all your documents. You know, I hate going outside with no documents. It's just freaking terrifying. Oh gosh, I had some other uh, memberships from other programs that I go to. That ID is gone. All that, you know, all those little things, you know, I'm like, you know, did not happen in the street. Did not happen in the street. I trace, I went, you know, four times back and forth. You know, I asked him, you know, you know, just like, see anything on the floor? Nothing. How is it going to come out of my bag on the floor like that? And it was empty. It was Monday. It's freezing. It was 20 degrees outside. So, so it was not that many people. It was not a lot of vendors either. It was not a lot of vendors, you know, today on 125th Street because of that and because it's Monday. So it was not in the street. It was not in the street. It was very, really bright and sunny. <clears throat> you know, I mean, like, you know, I don't know. And the last thing they want is, is just to keep. I even took a peek at the garbage. It was all empty. All the garbage was empty. They could just clean out the garbage. I took a peek. I was like, I see my wallet, nothing. It's like, sometimes it's like something fall off because they want to get rid of the evidence, obviously, right? Why would you carry the evidence? I'm sure they found it in the store, you know, like I should have gone back upstairs and stuff, but I wanted to, to rush to go to Citibank before they close. As usual, you know, nobody care. Nobody care, you know, that's, that's the world that we live in. All right, until next time, you know, please share this video if you can. It's like, don't expect anything from corporations. Something happened to you in the store. I guess, you know, the NYPD, I mean, this is, you, you know, a year ago I got, I got attacked at Montefiore Hospital. And, you know, I didn't know that you had to call the, the police from the place where it happened. So I went to the NYPD later on, they, that's what they told me. Oh, that's too late, whatever. So, I don't know, they seem like, you know, they're, I don't know, that's where I suspect they didn't want to raise their premiums. You know, I know they have insurances and every time something happens, I guess their premiums go up. And they decide like, oh, you know what, let's, let's just say, you know, we didn't see nothing in the video. You know, even if you didn't see nothing in the camera, it don't really mean, I'm sure you saw somebody probably walking fast coming out of where I was, at the very least. And, uh, you know, but, but that, that's what they want. You know, they protect the corporations. They don't protect us because they, they didn't even want to hear me. They didn't want to say the reports. They're like, well, we cannot give you anything. I say, I just wanted a report, you know, from, from, from the NYPD. You know, I mean, that's... That's just facts that happen in, in, in our times here in New York City. It's not good.